Hey there, Alex Kidman here with my quick video review of the Belkin Boost Charge Pro Magnetic Power Bank with Qi 2 8K. And if you think I'm going to say that twice during this review, you are sadly mistaken because that's one heck of a name you've got going there. But this is a fairly simple product to describe. It's a wireless power bank which happens to be Qi 2 compatible. And if you're thinking, hey, this looks kind of familiar, well, you wouldn't be wrong because last year I reviewed a Belkin 5K wireless charging bank for MagSafe. And here it is, and gee, yeah, they do look fairly broadly similar. Now, there are a few little subtle design changes. They don't mean that much, but they are slightly different. So, for example, on the 8K model, we've got a standard power button there, but it's a power button standalone. On the 5K model, that was a power button which was near the battery indicator lights. The battery indicator lights on this model are at the back next to the little vertical kickstand. Now, the vertical kickstand, apart from the printing of the word Belkin there, is essentially identical. It's one thing I wish they had actually changed up for this, just make it a little bit thicker or maybe centrally mount it, because I can see circumstances where it's going to be a little bit too easy to knock over. It would just be a little bit nicer if it was a bit thicker. Also, it would be a bit nicer if it was a little bit easier, just a tiny, tiny bit easier to fold out. Not impossible, as you can see, but it could be just that tiny, tiny little bit better. The advantage of having that horizontal stand, of course, is that if you've got an iPhone, you can put it into standby mode, as I have done just here, that all works quite well. But does it work well as a charging stand in its own room? Well, yeah, look, broadly it does. And Qi 2 obviously brings with it the promise of 15 watts charging. There are a few caveats to bear in mind here, though. So it's an 8,000 milliamp hour power bank, but you won't see 8,000 milliamp hours out of it, especially if you're charging wirelessly, because wireless charging is just lossy like that. Charging with this, I've noticed it's warming up. Anytime a battery is warming up, it's wasting power, folks. What I've found is typically that you'll definitely easily be able to get a single charge out of it for the vast majority of phones. Obviously, battery capacities differ, but getting two, mathematically, it's going to be difficult for most phones anyway, really not likely to happen, and it's probably going to drop off a little faster than you think it might. You could obviously get slightly better battery efficiency just treating this like a standard battery pack, just running a cable out of it for sure, but I don't know why you'd buy a wireless charging pack not to use it wirelessly. I should point out there are also 5K, smaller and 10K, larger variants of this battery pack, which would handle that problem a little bit more elegantly. The advantage of Qi 2 as well, of course, is that it will connect, and I'll connect it up here to the Skyline, magnetically, which means it'll just about hold here. As I noted in my Skyline review, the connection here is not strong, so I'm a little bit nervous, but it'll connect up that way, which should aid efficiency, but still, even so, 15 watts is not fast. It will still take you a reasonable amount of time. This is best kind of suited for overnight or in transit or I guess sticking on your desk at work kind of charging. You're not going to rapidly fire up charging on this battery pack to any given phone. And that's just the nature of how fast 15 watts is. So is it worth buying the Belkin Boost Charge Pro Magnetic Power Bank with Qi 2 8K? Hey, I said I wasn't going to say that again. Well, there we go. Well, look, it could be. There is no doubt you pay a price premium for this thing over and above a standard battery pack. If you just want that level of power, you can get an 8K or even a 10K battery pack for much less money than this really, really super easily. What you're paying for here is the wireless charging. This works pretty well. So far, of course, the Skyline 30 Android phone it'll work with, but if you're an iPhone user, yep, works quite nicely there. Anyway, that's my super quick take on this battery pack, whose name I'm not going to repeat again because it's just too darn long, choose shorter product names, Belkin. What do you think? Hit me up in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching all the way through to the end. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.